Hi, Dawn from Honors. Today I want to do a greenhouse tour. We have five houses on the east side of our main greenhouse, and I want to show you what's behind this door. So this is what we call our geranium house, as you can see. We have our 12-inch geraniums, and then we have our 14-inch geraniums. And our 14-inch geraniums have a spike in the middle, something tall in the middle. Then they have three geraniums, and then we do an accent plant on them. So they'll be ready in a couple of weeks, but I thought it's so fun to see all this glorious color that is behind me. And then we have ivy baskets. Uh, geraniums take a little care. They are one of the types of plants that like to have a lot of fertilizer, and they like for you to take all the dead blooms off, so you need to learn how to deadhead them properly and to remove all the yellow leaves. But this is a beautiful house to be in. So then we're gonna to go to the next greenhouse. We are starting our hanging baskets in here. Look at this gorgeous pacopa. I love pacopa. This is the white, this is the pink, and then there's blue or purple down the line. Pacopa is a beautiful filler that loves to cascade over. But the bad thing about pacopa is you forget to water it, it's really sad. So um, it's a little bit more finicky, but if that happens, just cut it back, let it regrow out, and then it will come out beautiful. And for this house, you're gonna to start to see a little bit more four inch product that we're growing. So this stuff was just planted this week. So the geraniums, um, when they come in, they're just a little itty bitty cutting that we go ahead and put into four inch pots. This is called double bloom, as you can see. Look at the bloom, it's got like a little double bloom. And the name of this one is Double Plum Fantastic. Such a beautiful color. Calipacoa is really a very good grower. It does extremely well and it blooms just, uh, it just is, it's gorgeous. It blooms just wonderful. But the double blooms are probably one of my favorites they look really good and I love the way it's got a two-tone purple and lavender. So in this house we have a lot of four inch and look at all this great color. These petunias have wonderful color. This is sweet potato vine. It works great for a trailer. It actually can get a little vigorous so you kind of have to trim it up a little bit. But we have some wonderful hanging baskets. This one's called Over Easy like an egg. It's yellow and white. Here is a gorgeous Dusty Miller. It's called Angel Wing. It has the real broad leaf on that, and it does extremely well in our summer. It gets big and showy. Look at the little heads on the zinnia. See, this is our zinnia crop, and they got little buds coming out already. Osteospermum does extremely well during our summer also, and it's like a little yellow daisy, and you can see a few uh, blooms popping up on that, some buds starting to set. I get asked about this a lot. This is a great little accent plant. It trails beautiful and you can actually winter this one over and put it in your house and treat it like a normal house plant. It actually does produce a little bloom, a little hot pink color bloom, but it's not known for blooming. It's known more for the thicker foliage. Oh, look at this one. I love pink. I'm always drawn to pink. This is the strawberry parfait. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I just cannot wait. How pretty is that? And we have um, our last house on this side. And this was planted just a couple of weeks ago, so stuff is a little bit smaller. Um, Coleus gives you a real big showy uh, impact, especially if you plant it in mass. Um, I, it's, it is one of the easiest plants actually to plant. You just can't overwater it. Coleus doesn't like to be really wet. Calabacoa does great in hanging baskets and we probably have about 30 different colors that we grow. So it comes in lots and lots of colors. This was just planted this week so it's very little. But this sedum is a little lime green and he just trails and he's real thick. Now you can bring that guy in also. So if you want to punch up your uh, your containers, the sedum works really well. Okay, so as you can see, we have more baskets and everything in here. 
And um, that's our five houses on this side. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel for more ideas with honors, floral, gift, and garden.